Hi, you're watching Adobe Photoshop CS4 tutorial and today I'm going to show you a creative effect to enhance your photographs. Now I've got this photo up on the screen, it's a nice photograph, um, but there isn't much depth of field except for the path that's winding up the hill in the background. But I think I could enhance this effect by using another creative effect within Photoshop. This effect mimics an extreme depth of field and you can select the areas in focus and of course the areas out of focus. And this is the effect that we're aiming for. As you can see, the house is still perfectly in focus, but the foreground and the background have been phased out slightly, leaving a narrow band of perfect focus. This uh, effect is very useful for if you want to create a s quite a bold creative effect, but um, I wouldn't recommend using it too much because, well, it just gets a bit much, really. So, uh, go back onto the start image. I'm going to select the channels tab, which is situated next to the layers tab, and I'm going to create a new channel. This will automatically be called Alpha 1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, make sure I'm still selected that channel, and I'm going to select the gradient tool. Making sure that um, white is my foreground color, I'm going to hold shift and drag down across the whole image. Holding shift when using the gradient tool makes it perpendicular to the edge that you started at, so this works whether you're dragging vertically or horizontally. In this case, I want a horizontal band of depth of, of focus, so I drag down. It also This technique also works the other way. So I'm going to select all the layers. This produces a red cast, which is good because it shows it works. Now I'm going to hide the alpha channel. I'm going to go back into my layers module, and I'm going to double-click on background to make it into a layer. Then, if I go to filter, blur, and then lens blur, it brings up a separate module, and as you can see, the effect has already started. But um, as the band of the focus is just slightly above the bottom of the house, so to do this, making sure the source is alpha one, I'm going to drag the blur photo distance across a bit. This will bring the effect down, or go the other way, and that brings the bottom of the house more into focus. Okay, so um, that's what you need. You can change some of these, but uh, the just fiddle around with them. There is they don't really have a set effect. So I'm going to hit OK. This module can be quite slow because uh, it's quite a big filter. So we'll just do that. Okay, so once it's processed that, which may take a while, you'll go back into uh, the main Photoshop module. As we flick over to the channels, you can see the alpha one is still hidden, but the effect is still visible. Now, that's um, basically the end of the creative effect, but I'm just going to enhance on one of my other tutorials. I'm using actions, and uh, I'm going to create this image into black and white. So I'm just going to go to actions, in the actions folder, select basic black and white, and I'm going to press play. That converts the image to black and white. Now that's a bit contrasty because it was developed for another image. So I'm just going to drag the yellow slider up because I remember there was quite a lot of yellow in the image. That brings that up a bit. And as you can see, the, the black and white has made the white house stand out a bit more. This uh, won't work with every image, but um, if you had, if the object that's in focus is uh, predominantly white or predominantly black, then black and white will help to em enhance the effect. So yeah, that's basically uh, the selective focus that you can achieve with the lens blur filter. So uh, the only way to get used to it really is just to play around. So uh, I hope.